All right, hey everybody, it's Alan Williamson again with At Home Crypto. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the ASRock H81 Pro BTC R2 and the UEFI setup for FOS. Uh, this was specifically requested from one of our viewers um, that reached out to us in the comments and then also on Twitter asking if we do, would do this board because they had some questions about why not all of the cards are being seen in this board for them. So I've had this board, this is my third board that I'm using uh, like this out of probably I don't know, 60 or so. I like the board, it's been pretty stable for me. Um, just really quick in the box, if you open it up, of course you have your motherboard. Okay. Comes with the book, and there's a CD in there too. It's the back plate, you won't use that. And it comes with two SATA cables there. And remember to always put your, uh, your uh, CPU uh, piece, plastic piece back in the same box in case you need an RMA, and then you this. There. So, it's a fairly cheap board, but it's a good value. Some things I wanted to point out specifically about it that is unique, and I've got one right here. This has, similar like you've seen on the Gigabyte uh, boards, this, you've got the two Molex on each side for the four pins. There. Can you see that? There, so when you are plugging in to your ATX here, and your CPU here, and then you also plug in your two uh, four pin power connections there also. Okay, for this build, this time we're gonna be using the EVGA 1300 watt. Uh, this is a good board, I like this company too. This is the gold, that was a good value also. And inside this, we're gonna end up having, these are the six RX 580s that we're gonna have in this board. One thing to note is that this board does not have the M2 adapters. So this is not going to be usable. This is a six board only. So one, two, three, four, five, and one, that's the 16 slot that you can plug in directly. You know, we rarely do that. Uh, when it first boots up, yeah, you can use VGA or HDMI direct on it. There you go. And then of course there's your LAN. Um, today I've got just a VGA because I have this extra monitor. I'm doing some stuff with the other monitors there. And another note is that this board is a DDR3 board. That's the memory that you're going to use in this. We're using two, it's a total of 16 gigs because I am maybe going to use again another Windows for it because it's just easier for me to swap those around in another Windows system. And I, I really prefer FOS, so that's what this is going to be and how to set up FOS uh, for this uh, board since that's what most people will be using. But you would normally, if you're using FOS, remember to get four gig of DDR3 for this uh, board. For this one, this time, if you look down here, that's two, eight gigs, so it's 16 gigs. You, that's overkill. This is also an Intel 7, which is overkill for you, so you wouldn't need that if you're using FOS. And again, this is just a setup for that. Notice I'm using my power there, going into the four pin for the Molex there. Okay. If you come around, we've got our UEFI setup utility. This board actually has minimal changes that you have to do in it. All right, so your main, you don't make any changes there. You can go into the OC tweaker, and we'll just look at each of those and see if there's anything that we want to change. So far, we don't. I'll point out specifically if there is, especially the voltage offsets, don't set anything with that. DRAM frequency, we won't change anything. Voltage, you don't change anything there. So in the OC tweaker, currently we don't make any changes. Under advanced CPU configuration, we won't make any change. I can show you that if you want, but there is no changes to make there for FOS. The chipset, we also will not. Your primary graphics adapter, that of course is either gonna be the PCI or own board. Right now, because we don't have a PCIe plugged in directly, it's seeing the onboard but that is what you want leave that the default pci express so that you'll plug that into your first gpu when you use that going down onboard hd audio i turn that off on my systems and disable that it's not needed onboard hdmi hd audio we can disable that 
Onboard LAN, of course, leave that on. Restore on AC power loss, turn on. That means that you don't, if the power goes out or if uh, you just need to turn it off, you don't necessarily need the power button on that. It'll come back on by itself. Good night, LED. This is the, I turn those off usually. That's just the LEDs on it. Okay. It's, you hit escape to go back. Storage configuration, SATA controls we can leave on, even though we're probably not, but I may end up using some SATA on that. This is a USB controllers, uh, or on FOS that I use. Going back, hit escape, Intel Smart Connect, nothing there for us to change. Leave it as disabled. Super IO, can leave all these as the defaults for right now. ACPI, I'll show you that, but again, that's another one we won't change. Okay, USB configuration, another one that we won't make any changes in. There's no need to. Okay, so I'm just showing you that. Now, under tool, we're now under this section. Tool, there. This is where you can update your um, UEFI. The way you do that, you can. this is your network configuration. Just You can either set it to something you specifically want, or you can do internet flash, and this will reach out to the ASRock servers and update the UEFI for you. And if you notice, I just hit enter for that and your firmware is up to date very quickly. There. So we're good there. This is the hardware monitor. It's just telling us what the current status of them is. And notice the CPU and all of the details are in Celsius. This is the different boot options. If we wanted to make a change here, it actually recognized that the uh, that I created the FOS USB disk and have that on there. So it has that as the first one. Okay. I changed my setup prompt from one second to two in case I ever need to go into the BIOS. That's just a, one second usually isn't enough time to hit delete if I'm a little distracted. Boot up NumLock, so hit enter. There, boot up numlock. That just means that whether when it comes up and it's booting up, if the numlock comes on, I personally like them because it shows me that it's booting up. If I have a problem with my monitor, I can look at the keyboard and you'll see here is an example. See how the numlock? I didn't set that. That's, you know, of course I could by pushing the numlock, but that's on by default there. That's what that is. The boot beep, that will tell you if you have some problems. Right now we just keep that off. Um, you would need a buzzer, like a, uh, you would need a, another pin or another uh, peripheral kind of that looks like this to, it's a little speaker on it that would allow you to use that full screen logo. I like that just because I like the, the full, the boot screen coming up there. Security, you can set passwords here. Some of my systems I do, especially if I'm uh, selling them there and that save changes and exit there so as you see there's not many changes that you would need to make there and again also there and there's our SOS we're booting into it it says zero total because it's I don't have any GPUs plugged into it right now but one of the good things is I'll be able to uh, it'll, it won't start mining for me, so I can start setting some of the configuration within the FOS, like the wallet. Since I know it's going to be all six RX 580s, I can go ahead and start configuring some of the uh, uh, different settings specific to uh, the AMD series GPUs. So if you go, it's like I said, right now it has uh, no GPUs, of course. We have none plugged in right now, as I was saying earlier under that VGA section. FOS is coming up. There. And as usual, there's some different things. Go back and look at my uh, setup FO, FOS initially. That I did a specific uh, video on that. Go back and look at that. Some things you'd want to change is the password, your wallet, of course, your strata mining pool that you're in, and of course, what card you're going to uh, test or be mining for, or what coin you're going to be mining for. Okay, so please leave us a comment. Again, that's the HAS Rock. H81 Pro BTC R2. I hope you've learned a lot and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment 
and let us know any questions. Shoot us an email, or we're also on Twitter at Home Crypto. Let us know what other questions and how we can help you to build your rig successfully. Thank you, and have a great day. Very good.